Good evening, saints. Once again, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I just want to greet you uh, uh, this evening, in the evening time. It's a wonderful day again, which the Lord has given us. And I uh, just want, I'm just soliciting your prayers, my Christian friends all over the world. You see, there's nothing that we can do on our own as Christians, but only by Him. And we, we, we are so grateful of the Lord that in this day we now know Him because He's revealed Himself to us. There was a time when we worshipped God without knowing who God was. There was, there was a time when we were waiting for God to come. But now we are no longer waiting. He has come and has made Himself known to us. Remember all the promises. So shall it be in the day when the Son of Man shall be revealed. Uh, if you remember, there was that time when he came to the Jews 2,000 years ago. Uh, he asked his disciples, Who do men say, I, the Son of Man, I am? And then Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Therefore now, we know who the Son of Man is. It's the Christ coming in a bodily form, hallelujah, of a prophet. God coming to act in a bodily form. That is the Son of Man. The Son of Man revealing himself through a Son of Man. Blessed be the name of God. So shall it be in the day when the Son of Man shall be revealed. Re revealed. This is a scripture promise. The Lord Jesus did a lot of things when he came. But there was a promise which he made. He said he was going to return again at the end time. Just before the world is destroyed, God was going to return so that he could keep his pattern. Every time, just before destruction, God always comes down. He came down in the days of Noah. He came down in the days of uh, uh, Egypt before it was destroyed. He came and went through through Moses. He came down in the, in the days of Sodom. Uh, he, he appeared to Abraham in a bodily form of a man. He has appeared to us in a bodily form of William Brenham, a man like you and me. Oh, I'm so grateful, saints. We are so grateful, Christians. We should be grateful. What has happened in this age has never happened in any other age. God has come and lived among us in our form to prove that we have been purchased, to prove that we have been redeemed, to prove that we have become one with the Lord himself. Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the living God. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. And it was the Lord himself that descended in this day and revealed himself to his beloved, the elected church of the end time. Oh, what a wonderful time it is. God sent a mighty prophet in this day, William Aaron Brenham of Jeffersonville. Though many have risen to try to to smear and tarnish this name they have to do that because if they don't do it then we would doubt William Brenham as the messenger because remember how demons rose to smear the name of the Lord when he came 2000 years ago always the true messenger is rejected always the true word of God is rejected but there's always a small minority who are elected they always pick it and they always found grace in the sight of God. This is the day. I feel sorry. I hear that there's a lot of believers leaving the message. Yes, they have to leave to fulfill the word of God. Remember, our prophet taught us that he, they left Egypt a two million command people, but only two people went into, went into the promised land. Remember how many came out of Sodom, only three out of all the millions of Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember how many went into the ark, only eight out of the whole world. So it cannot be different in this day. You know, saints, or oh Christian friends, if, uh, if there was another substitute or an alternative, if you can offer me an, uh, another alternative apart from William Maron Branham, that will prove to be sent of God. That will prove to, 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 to be scripture. I will receive it and discard William Brenham. But so far, I haven't seen in the world. I haven't seen. 
I have only seen the minister of William Branham being the one that is lined up with the word of God to the dots. And my spirit agrees with the Holy Spirit of God in me. And we know what the Lord has done. We know what the Lord has done to prove that this is the true word of God. How it has transformed thousands of people. Though the same people are, have now turned against the word. It doesn't surprise me. It happened in the days of Moses. After being delivered. After rejoicing and doing everything. And receiving all the blessings. They ate the manna, the, the meat and everything. They were given free by the hand of God. But they turned against the anointed one at, at the end. And because of that... They never went in into the promised land. And uh, what a dangerous thing it is since uh, the, the, our brothers who are leaving this message. Remember this message is the third exodus. And the pattern has to, be, has to be remain the same. What happened in the first exodus is what happened in the second. And it's what happens, what's happening now in the third exodus. Show me another third exodus in the world or try to tell me that there's no exodus that was supposed to come. If there was no exodus that was to come, then why did Jesus say as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of, 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 of Sodom and Gomorrah? What happened in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah? There was a coming out just before the destruction and there has been a coming out in this day before the destruction spiritually and physically. The Lord bless your saints this evening.